Um, no. Horse Guards Parade, just down the road from where the Prime Minister has been handing out uh, poppies. And lots of people here are very keen that when the public come past, we see that symbol and consider buying one ourselves. One person doing that is Ambassador for the Royal British Legion, Ross Kemp. Very good morning to you. Good morning. What's today actually about? Oh, today is an opportunity for the British public who are travelling through London to get a chance to come and say thank you to our armed uh, forces personnel. Um, you know, we only really have 11 days in this country where you get the opportunity to buy a poppy. And we have one London poppy day. We'll have a poppy day in Manchester and in Birmingham and in Bristol. And that's an opportunity to just say thank you to the people who keep us safe and protect us and people who have made some made big sacrifices on our behalf to allow us to live in a democracy. It's quite easy, isn't it? Is it just November comes around, it's kind of like part of the year to forget really what this symbol means? I think it's very important to remember what it means and also, you know, I'm not going to force anybody to wear a poppy. You have a democratic right not to wear one because the sacrifice is made by people like the people behind me and people like my grandfather and some of my relatives. My grandmother was in a Royal British Legion nursing home for the last seven years of her life um, and the care and the love and the attention that she was given I will never forget. You've also got to look at the fact that at the moment that we've had a 20% increase in, in our demands for help in terms of fuel and in food, so £3 million has already been spent on that. Uh, in terms of debt relief, we've already paid out £10 million helping veterans and their families with, with debt issues. Uh, and that's not going away. And you have to understand that the British Legion doesn't operate for just 11 days. It operates all around the year and people have problems all around the year. And I just think, you know, for anyone that served their country or anyone who's associated family-wise with anyone who served their country, they sort of deserve our help. Is there a problem that so much support is required and why isn't that coming from elsewhere? I mean, that's always been the case. I mean, you look historically through, you know, we, we often get involved in conflicts around the world. Um, and that's a decision made by politicians. It is the job of uh, someone in our armed forces to, to follow orders, and that's what they do. That's what they're trained to do. Uh, but often what happens when you come home, those conflicts are often very quickly forgotten, apart from the people that actually served in them. And it's very easy for politicians to draw lines under certain conflicts. It's not so easy for those that have fought in them or for their families to do so. Ross, thank you very much. Really appreciate your time this morning. So if you are in and around London at train stations, at tube stations, they are open today. There was going to be a strike, but they thought this is not going to work on the same day as London Poppy Day, so that's been cancelled. So the appeal from the Royal British Legion is to get a poppy today.